Triple Nickel Niner here and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about toolboxes. Now when it comes to uh, your first toolbox, I definitely think that you would want something that's portable. You, um, for a, a new beginner, uh, somebody starting out, if you're you know going to purchase a bag, um, these small bags are great, uh, especially bags like this and like this uh, hyper tough um, utility box here that's uh, water tight at the top. These are great options for a, t a first tool kit. Um, you're looking at about seven dollars for the hyper tough ammo uh, style can, the utility box. I've seen them at Harbor Freight for roughly the same price. Um, generally those boxes, they're in the six to seven dollar, maybe eight dollar range. Um, and this is plastic, it's tough, you know, and it's stackable. These uh, smaller uh, bags, I mean, again, I'm not s brand specific. Um, Hyper Tough, the Walmart brand, they make bags like these. This is the Husky brand. Um, this bag right here is running around $15. Uh, for You're paying for, you know, the Husky name. Um, if you were to go to Walmart right now, you could probably pick up a bag that's probably equal quality, if not just as good. Um, for about seven to eight dollars. Uh, these bags are nice and light. They do hold a lot. They have a little bit of organization on the outside. So bags like this are definitely great. Um, if you're wanting a bag, this is definitely a, a great first off key. This bag's a little bit bigger. We're hitting around the, I'd say 18 inches on the, on the length here. Um, this bag will set you back about, now they're running around 35 to almost $40 for a bag like this. Um, this is a great, you know, th the quality is great. Um, Hyper Tough has um, bags maybe a little bit uh, close to the size of this, but now Walmart is carrying their Heart brand and their prices are pretty competitive. You're still looking at about the $30 to, to $35 range for a bag like this. This box right here would probably run you about you're looking at the $35 range, uh, 40-ish. Um, this tool wall back here did not happen overnight. Um, I started buying these boxes one Black Friday a couple of years ago. I got a really good deal on the stack. I got the rolling cart and this box and another organizer. And basically out of the deal, I got this box for free. So um, Black Friday and like Labor Day, Memorial Day sales are probably what you want to look for when you're going to purchase something like this. And then over time, I just asked for one for Christmas or for my birthday. And, you know, or if I needed a tool, I just went and, and purchased one and I just considered it an investment. Does everyone today, you know, have the money to invest in something like this? No. And that's why I'm giving everyone, uh, there's options out there, you know. So if you want to buy a toolbox, you can definitely go with something as small as the you know, hyper tough, you know, utility box that we looked at a few minutes ago, you know, and just work your way up. For your first toolbox, unless you're a mechanic, I would not recommend Essman style um, metal toolbox. Um, they're just unhandy to work out of. Um, Adam Savage has the saying, drawers are where tools go to die and i really have implemented that in my shop they can be expensive back in the day that one was 200 dollars roughly and i think i got that on sale so now i don't know what the prices are for a metal style like this but they are getting up there in price i want my tools portable i want my boxes portable i want to be able to take the box and go where it needs to go with me toolboxes I have to say, I love this rigid system, and you don't have to go with rigid. Uh, DeWalt, Ryobi's coming out with their new link system. You have the packout system, which is exceedingly expensive. So there are definitely a tons of options uh, surrounding a box like this, the, the type of boxes that kind of go together like Legos and snap together, and you can roll them around. I love these boxes. I love the Husky bags. They're a great option you know, for $30. But is there an option that's better than this? Is there an option that is, is cheaper and more cost effective and just better all around? And I, I hate to say it, as much as I love my rigid system, I think I found 
one of the better options. This, I think, so far has been one of the better options that I have developed over time. So, this is your bucket style setup here. This is the Husky Bucket Jockey. And of course you just buy the bucket and you put the tool bag in the bucket and you have full access to tools on the outside. Plus you have full access to the tools on the inside. I think this is the best bang for your buck. The bucket jockey here runs around $12. Of course, the price of a bucket is a couple of bucks. But I think what really makes this kind of system stand out for a homeowner is the lid. Now this is a Husky lid. Um, this did not come with the, the Jockey Boss. This is something I bought separate. Um, I have not seen these at um, I have not seen these at uh, Home Depot in a while. I'm not sure if Lowe's carries a style of it or whatever, but um, when I did look these up on the internet, they were sold out. And I think they were roughly eight to ten dollars when I did purchase this one. But I'm sure if you did an Amazon search or or looked at another big box store, you could probably find something like this. But the great thing about this is is that this covers your bucket, and you can sit on this. You know, it has the lid where you can, some hardware here inside. I just think for a first time toolbox, this is the best option. So what are we looking at here? $12 for the, the bucket jockey, about eight. So 18, 19, 20 for a setup like this. And look at the, look at all the room that you get with you know, I've got a whole roll of duct tape in there. I've got a hammer, a hacksaw, you know, I just think this is so far, when you're first starting out, you know, this right here is one of the better, better combinations that I, I have found yet. One thing I'm very passionate about. I think as homeowners and men and husbands and dads, it's just crucial for us to not only know how to fix things or be able to have the ability to be resourceful enough to learn how to fix things, but also be handy enough to know that you need tools right then, right there, right now at the ready. And that is just a philosophy that I started out with several years back. Um, emergencies would happen or, or things would happen and I would go look for a tool and it wouldn't be there. I, I was disorganized and I, I knew it needed to stop. So with that said, you know, be a handyman minute man, be able to be ready at all times to not only fix the things that at your, in your own home, but be able to help out your neighbor or help out a family member. You can have your brother call you in the middle of the night, and say, Hey, I've got a leak. You just can reach for your plumbing box or whatever box that you set up for that. And you could be on your way to his house. No fuss, no muss. It just takes stress out of life. This is what I'm doing. So I hope that this video inspires you guys to get organized. And um, with that said, this is Triple Nickel Niner. God bless. Triple Nickel Niner, out.